right, time to open up the P.O. Box mail that I got in April. Let's see what you guys sent in. First off, here's a letter from Hunter from Wisconsin. Hey, Sung One, I just want you to know that I enjoy all your videos. I feel too many people say this, but whatever. I hope you enjoy my custom farmland and dairy cow magic cards that I remade. Ooh, so here we got a uh, dairy cow. Very nice. Uh, as well as, ooh, farm and the cheese tasting phase. I also combined Dairy Cow's effect from every video it was in to give it one full effect. I really want you to make another video showing a full version of the Dairy Farm deck list. I have tested my version of the deck and there are other combos in the deck by using Cheese Copy Token and Cool Cow. I also made a custom card for the cheese tasting phase, which is also in the envelope. I also have a deck list in here. There's a lot of stuff, I know. I am sorry they are badly done. I, am, I have limited resources since I am 14. Nah, they're great. I appreciate it. I hope you also enjoy a Blue Eyes White Dragon. Wow, awesome. Check out my YouTube where I play mobile games and other stuff at unknown634. I decided to type this because I write quickly and my handwriting ends up sloppy. Enjoy the stuff, Hunter. Thank you very much, Hunter. Nah, these are awesome. Like, I love... See, I, I love that you enjoy the uh, dairy cow cards, um, and the, I'm enjoying these custom ones. Very cool. Thank you very much. All right, here's a letter from Swan from Texas. How's it going, Sung One? I've recently gotten into watching Violet Evergarden, utter masterpiece. Did you know that the show has a movie now? Watch it. Made me really tear up. Still in quarantine, drawing nonstop to keep from going crazy. How about you? I actually designed some stickers on Redbubble, so that's neat. Anyway, here's a cutesy sticker and bracelet for you to enjoy. Stay awesome, Swan. And here we have a cute little sticker. Thank you very much. And a nice little bracelet. Ooh, thank you. Uh, quarantine's going fine. Uh, I think what's keeping me sane is uh, just talking to people on Discord and, uh, you know, playing board games on Board Game Arena and just, you know, keeping myself occupied uh, as much as I can in my free time. Thank you for your consideration and thank you very much for the gifts. Here's a letter from Eunice from Alabama. This next letter is addressed to Press Buttons and Talk. That is the Let's Play channel I have with my friend Alex. Check it out in the description below. Uh, Dear Press Buttons and Talk, I wanted to thank all three of you for all the awesome content <clears throat> you've, been you've been providing over the years. You and your videos have seriously helped me through some hard times. I became disabled nearly two years ago and I have real mobility problems now, so I'm stuck in my room for the majority of time these days. It wasn't long after that when I discovered your channel and I was really impressed with how genuinely funny you all are and the sense of friendship and enjoyment that comes through in your videos. I'm sure with the coronavirus outbreaks and just about everyone having to be stuck indoors like me that they appreciate the channel that much more. There is so much content to enjoy and I still laugh out loud on multiple rewatches. I think you and Alex and Anne-Marie uh, made absolutely the right choice to take a break on the channel during the quarantine. Everyone's health and staying safe is so important right now. True fans of the channel, like myself and so many others, will wait as long as it takes for this to clear up and hope you guys can get back into the swing of uh, making videos once all this mess gets cleared up, whenever that is. Speaking of videos, my favorite to watch is anything without voice acting, whereas someone and Alex do a lot of character voicing. Your Phoenix Strike playthroughs are legendary. I played these games, the first three as a kid, and revisiting them with hilarious commentary and extra characters like Bagel Cop and the Charlie Brown adults, who make me laugh every time, is so awesome. When it comes to new characters who show up, how do you and Alex decide who will voice who? I like how well you balance roles so you two are rarely talking to yourself, if you know what I mean. I also love watching your, uh, you all play party games. I can watch the Mario Party videos over and over. I'm so glad Anne-Marie joins in. She adds even more fun and plays off you and Alex so well. And Donkey Kong is the best CPU antagonist, and it is so funny when you all get mad at him. Many, many thanks to all three of you and for bringing laughter and warmth to these gloomy days. You have helped me get through so much. I joined your Patreon recently and was surprised that more people aren't on there. To anyone on the fence, please consider supporting PB&T if you can afford it. They deserve so much more for what they do. Uh, I've enclosed personal letters to each of you with this. Thank you all for doing this wonderful channel. With much love and gratitude, Eunice. Thank you very much, Eunice. I'm very sorry to hear about your circumstances, but uh, I hope the videos cheer you up. Uh, as for your question, uh, how we decide the voices in the Ace Attorney playthroughs is whenever a new game comes up, like Phoenix Wright 3, uh, we go, okay, here are all, we go on like Court Records, which is the Phoenix Wright site, and we basically start going, is there any characters you want to voice? Are there any characters that I want to voice? Uh, usually we have a pretty good consensus on who should voice who. Usually Alex will voice higher voice characters, but not always, and I'll usually voice deeper voice or raspier characters. But sometimes if there are characters that we know will talk to each other a lot, then we try to like make sure we uh, have one of us as 
one of them and the other is the other, as opposed to having someone talk to themselves all the time. Yeah, so that's usually how we decide that. Uh, I'll go ahead and read my letter, but obviously the letters for Amory and Alex we will read on the channel, so look forward to that. Uh, Dear Sung One, I first discovered you through your sketch videos and they always make me laugh. I'll never forget the first time I watched the video where L Lysanderoth gloats about his machinations laying undetected for years, and your character just gives him that look. Priceless. Following your voice acting career and seeing you get more and more high profile roles has been amazing, and I'm always cheering you on. I love when you post snippets or compilations of your voice acting. Your range is incredible, and I love seeing the huge variety of characters you voice. Also, the screams of rage you did for Vasaraga were just perfect. You seem like a genuinely kind and fun to be around person. I love how you lift up your friends and promote their projects as well. It's also super fun to see Mute and Elvis on PBNT too. I'm sure you're going through your own share of hardships with the pandemic, but just wanted to say that I think you're awesome and that you're genuinely making this world a better place. Thank you very much, Eunice. Uh, yeah, the voice acting uh, has been going well. Uh, I'm glad that you're enjoying seeing the my updates on that. Um, I've been very passionate about it, so uh, yeah, uh, I'm very happy about it. and. Uh, Thank you very much for the kind words, I really appreciate it. And I look forward to Alex and Anne-Marie's uh, reading of their letters whenever this quarantine is done. Here's a letter from Jake Young from California. Dear Sung One, my name is Jake, just a regular guy from California. Like many of your fans, I had the good fortune of coming across your work via the video when you start a new game and you meet the character you know is going to betray you. I've enjoyed your various videos and acting work since. Uh, thank you for taking the time to read my message. I wish you the good luck and opportunity for the years to come. Sincerely, Jake Young. Thank you very much, Jake. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for the letter. Here's a letter from New York. Hi, Sungwon. Me and my sister were messing around in GameStop one day and came across this game. It is The Sims Herbs. Uh, for the DS. We played the PS2 version back in the day and it was so bad it was funny. If you don't know what The Sims Herbs is, it's a Sims spin-off that's pretty much just a more edgy version of Sims. And Sims was already pretty edgy back in the day. Anyways, it was like four bucks, so we bought it to see how terrible it was. Man, did we underestimate how bad it was going to be. We got through making the sim and got it to the gameplay. I don't know if it's just that bad or if we are really, really stupid, but we couldn't figure out how the hell to play it. The game started us out in the street and told us to go to our house, but didn't even give us a clue to where that might be. We had ourselves a good laugh and turned it off, but then it was like, what the hell are we going to do with this now? But then I thought about your press buttons and talk channel and thought it would fit in with the other games you play there. So, have fun from Farah. Thank you very much, Farah. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm looking forward to the herbs at some point. I mean, hopefully we'll have an easier time than you guys did, but thank you very much. Alright, here's a package from Wing from Hawaii. Dear Sung Wan, my husband and I love watching your videos. Whenever we need a good laugh, we'll watch some of your videos. I also have an Asian name, Wing, and mine is even easier to pronounce, but still people have said Wang or Win or Wayne or some other nonsense. Anyway, I have some extra Animal Crossing cards because I may have spent way too much money collecting these, so hope you like them. Ooh, let's take a look. Dang, there's a bunch. We got DJ KK, uh, Label or Labelle, Pelly Pudge, Cobb, uh, Panchetti. Who else we got in here? We got Poncho, Avery, a whole bunch of them. Dang. Ooh, Miranda, Gaston, he's in my village now. Very cool. You can invite the animals to your campsite in the new game. I apologize in advance if any of these animals turn out to be assholes. Finally, thanks for introducing me to Carrot Cake Oreos. Those things are great. Hope you, and marie Effie, and Sophie stay safe during the pandemic. Wing. Thank you very much, Wing. Shout out to fellow Asian name haver. Uh, and I'm glad you and your husband enjoy watching the videos. Uh, thank you very much for these, I really appreciate them. Hope that you guys are doing okay during the pandemic as well. Alright, here's a package from Raphael from Massachusetts. Ooh. Alex, you dummy! Alex, Marie! I'm just right there, I'm Alex, you dummy! They'll do it too! Yeah, they'll do it. I'm gonna get called dummy like 10 times! Holy shit. This is incredible. There's a recording. Wow, how many clips are from PPNT are on this? Holy shit. Whoa. Alright. Dear Alex, Sungwon, and Anne Marie, I've been watching PPNT for a long time. Thank you for all the awesome videos. I know you've played Mega Man Battle Network before. Uh, whoo, here we go. These games are some of my favorites. If you ever decide to go back to it, try the third game. It allows you to run away from fights. Hope the speaker in the greeting card survived through the post office. It definitely did. Have a good one. Sincerely, Raphael. 
Raphael, thank you so much. I have never gotten a custom sound card before, especially of my own voice. That's beautiful. Uh, thank you so much. And yeah, uh, we'll have to get to this one at some point, for sure. Thank you very much. And finally, here's a package from Taylor from New York. Dear Sung Wan, I've been watching your videos for a while and wanted to take the time to write you. Bottom line up front, your videos are one, original, and two, hilarious. You have a lot of talent and I am excited to see where you go in your acting roles in the future. Okay, enough gushing on my part. I have some questions that I and some fans would love to know. One, what is your favorite voice to impersonate or a role you like to replay? Mm, favorite voice? I feel like when I'm playing board games, I'll do like a tough Russian voice. This kind of voice or something. Uh, so that's not an impersonation, but it's just kind of like a fun voice to do. Two, what are some future projects you're working on? Uh, can't say, because uh, of NDA, but just if you follow me on Twitter, at ProZD, you'll get any updates in the voice acting realm that way. And three, what voice do you default use when mocking something annoying or frustrating? Oh, uh, either, oh my god, this is amazing, from the uh, Ready Player One video. Probably that was, oh my, that's so great. Thank you for your time and keep doing what you do. Very respectfully, Taylor. Thank you very much, Taylor. I'm glad you enjoy my voice work, and uh, I hope you stay tuned to more of my voice stuff in the future. But thank you very much for the letter. All right, that was everything in this P.O. Box. Thank you to all of you for sending in your letters and gifts. Uh, yeah, I mean, quarantine sucks, but it's nice to hear from you guys, so I really appreciate it. Make sure, everybody, you stay safe and uh, healthy. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.